So now I've got my hat, it's nice and wet, and I'm going to try and get this crease out as much as I can. And uh, kind of works better if you've got something flat to work with. I'm using my rice cooker spoon to try and get this out. It just helps to smooth out the brim, take that crease out, make it nice and flat. And now this, I'm just going to stick my hand underneath and pop, pop it out. So you can see it's coming out. And I want to smooth it out as much as I can. So turn it over and kind of round it out. And I'm using my other hand to kind of cup it so I have a nice round hat to work with. I think you can t still see where the crease was, but this new crease that we're going to do is going to hide it. So I'm not really going to worry about it, but if you're going to have a crease that shows the top part of the crown, you're going to want to smooth it out as much as you can or just start with a new hat body. So, so here we go. I'm just drying my hands a little bit. Uh, when you're shaping the hat, you kind of want to, let me see if I can get a bang, better angle on the camera, hang on. You see this piece right here? This is the top of the crown, and you can line that up. This is going to be your center mark. So, this is the back of the hat, and this is the front. And typically you want to line that up with the front of your hat. Let's see, I can show you this way. There's the back. Here's the center line. So you're going to want to make sure that you make your adjustment. But here we are. So you could do this two ways. Um, I've seen it done a couple of different ways. Um, you can just press the whole thing down, press the circle of it down, and, and I'm showing you from the front. Typically, I'd be holding the hat this way so that it's facing me, but I'm going to face it towards you so that when you're shaping the hat, it'll be in perspective. So, you want to just press this down. You can see it's somewhat making a circle. Press this down. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of using my fingers to make that indention. Like that. And then theirs tends to be more squared off. So, it'll be a little bit easier for me to square it off um, from the bottom or the inside of the hat, but their hats tend to be a little bit more squared, box top anyway. So, I just want you to see. And then I'm just going to pick it up and look at it to make sure that the front of it is even, that I don't have the distance here and here kind of wide on one side, wide on the other. So I'm just going to pick it up and look at it, kind of eyeball it and make sure it looks like this side is a little bit higher. Can you see it right here? 
So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more. Does that look even to you? So that's the first part is to press this in and then we're going to turn the hat over and we're going to use my spatula here and press the middle of it back up. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you. See how I'm pressing this little center piece back up. And I'm being real gentle with it. <clears throat> and I've got my hand on the underside here. Just to hold hold the brim. Hold the hat. Keep it from moving basically. So I'm going to turn it around a little bit at a time. continue to press. I think you can see. And I'm putting some effort into this pressing. I think you can kind of see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to turn it over so you can see the other side real quick. But if you look at the top, that is a gambler crease. And this is the front of the hat right here. That's a gambler crease. So basically their hat starts with this gambler crease and then I'm just going to use my use my hands to kind of block it off. I'm just squeezing it. Now, this isn't quite straight because you can see that the middle of my hat is a little off, so I'm going to turn it a little bit. You want to pay attention to center, which is not like what I just did. Okay, so now that I've got my square in place, I'm going to fix this circle. Or rectangle, I guess I should say. But that is the start of the hat. Turn it over, and I'm going to make the inside of it more square. And I'm trying to get a good view for you, but uh, tried to square off the inside of it. Still have some imperfections, but I'll straighten that out. That is pretty much it. Here's the front of 
front of my hat. And the last thing is to do crease the brim. I'm sorry, crease the brim. So you would start off with a flat brim. And then uh, I'm going to start my crease of the brim right in here. Um, I'm trying to make sure that it's center. But again, I'm working from behind the hat. And typically, you'd be working from the front where you would be able to see the front of the hat. Um, hold the brim like this. And then with your thumbs, you would decide where you want it to start turning up. So I just went ahead and bent it. And I'm going to continue to turn it up. So, and I'm kind of um, button the hat up against my my uh, stomach to kind of keep it from moving because I'm pushing it back towards me a little bit as I'm doing this. But you're, the way you would normally be holding it, and I'm just going to adjust the camera, would be like this. And it would be resting on the counter as you curved it. So, just so that you can see, this is what we're working with, this angle. So, and you can use, if you see any kind of imperfections, you can use something firm, use your counter, smooth things out or to put the curl in. Same on this side, you can use your counter to put your curl in. And that way you have a nice smooth curve. And uh, you can see this side here is laying down a little bit more. So I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm going to tilt the hat a little bit more. See? So there's your bull rider. You can squeeze it more in here. Some people like those dents on the sides. But that's it. Now I'm going to turn it around to me just so that I can see the front of it and address this one side that looks a little lower. You can tell me if you think it's even. I see the indention is a little deeper on this side, so I'll just kind of offset it with some. But that's it.